Good afternoon, everyone. It is season four, episode five of the Weekly Drip, and I know you already know two of these faces, but today we have an extra special guest to introduce. So I'm Ashley Tellis, owner of Atomic Properties Group at Keller Williams Realty. We have Miss Amber Pierce, owner of Coit Cleaning and Restoration, uh, Coit Cleaning and Restoration. Oh, I'm getting tongue-tied here in Dripping Springs. And we are just so honored to have Miss Pam Owens running all things Destination Dripping Springs. Thank you, uh, Pam, so much for joining us. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me today. Yeah. Um, so we are um, here to talk about uh, everything going on in Dripping Springs. But today specifically, Miss Pam is going to give us the scoop on a few different things. And rumor has it there's a festival coming up in town. Pam, will you tell us all about it? Sure. In 10 days, there's a festival in town. Downtown, as a matter of fact. It's the second um, annual Dripping Springs Brewers Festival. And so what we're doing is we're celebrating these great brewers who have um, made quite a name for themselves. Um, almost all of them are contest prize winners about their, their beer and what they're doing. We've also invited three breweries, uh, one from Johnson City, one from Blanco, and one from Marble Falls to join us. And uh, so we have 14 brewers that are going to be here in Dripping Springs. It's going to be a great little casual festival, less than 500 people. Um, you want me to tell you about tickets and wristbands yes, and all I mean, that? Okay. All, all right. the details. All, all the, the details. details. Okay. Well, it's uh, it's on. It's actually on Old Fitzhugh Road, which is there's a grassy field there, and that's where we're going to have it. There'll be a big Wait a tent. Minute. That, huh? I get to revisit my younger dreams of drinking in a field. Yes. Is that what I'm hearing? You could even <laughs> bring a blanket and a lawn chair if you wanted oh, to. Oh, a picnic in oh. here. That you sounds could, lovely. You could do that. Sam, I have a serious question. Do yeah. you know, is there going to be any gluten-free beer? Oh, that is you know, I do not know that answer that question, but I will find out for you. How's that? That would be wonderful. I would love to partake. <laughs> okay. Okay. You sorry. Can, if you want to be a VIP on that day, you buy a $40 uh, ticket. You have to go to our website. Um, all you have to do is Google Dripping Springs Brewers Festival 2023. Uh, it is on our Destination Dripping Springs website. Um, a VIP ticket costs you $40 and you get to come to the festival early. So um, you get to be there at 11 o'clock. And so that's when it will start. So you are guaranteed you're going to get to drink beer. You know, what happens in a lot of beer festivals is they run out of beer before the day is over. So you want to make sure you're there early. So our um, we, we don't want to, I'm not saying we're going to run out of beer that day. Everybody don't get excited, <laughs> but you never know. Uh, anyway, we, we have that ticket or you can purchase a $25 ticket. You don't get to come into the festival until 1 p.m. Okay. And it's all, it's over at 5 p.m. But um, you could come in at one and you get eight tastings. You're going to get eight. You're going to get eight beer tickets with your tasting okay. glass. There you go. For that $25 ticket. But uh, nice. so the VIP ticket, the VIP wristband, you don't even need tickets. You just go and just drink show your wristband. <laughs> show your wristband and they'll fill your little glass up. Um, oh. There's also a, a non-drinker ticket. It's ten dollars. So if you're the uh, person the who's the driver, the driver, or you're under twenty-one and you still want to come, um, that's a ten-dollar ticket. It is. You can bring your kids if you want. We do not have any children's activities going on, so okay. might time. be a good day to let grandmother keep them <laughs> if grandmother's not coming to the festival. I love uh, it. But like I say, they, they're welcome to come. Uh, Well-behaved dogs can also come. And um, we have music. We have live music all day. There's one uh, one guy, one man named Janky, J-A-N-K-Y. If you haven't heard Janky, he plays occasionally at the barbershop. He's great. 
Um, and then Monty Good will play starting at three o'clock. And he's Monty Good is always good. So <laughs> that's the day. We have we have food. We have four food vendors. Uh, the Dripping Springs Cook Off Club will be there. We have a new vendor here in town. If you don't haven't met them yet, they're called Lobster Dogs. So it's a truck. And they sell all kind of lobster rolls and um, other things. And then uh, JP8 Coffee and Flight uh, Ice Cream will also be there. So it'll be fun. So I'm going to um, cheat a little bit for those folks listening in. And um, we've put the, the link to the festival in the comments down below. So you can click there and go to the website. And I'm just going to read off the uh, brewers that are going to be attending okay. because I, I want folks to know. There, I have a lot of Destination Dripping Springs websites pulled up. There it is. Okay, so uh, participating, here's what I'm seeing. Um, Akupan, uh, Bear King Brewing Company, Beerberg. Mm -hmm. in Marble Springs. Falls. Oh, Bear King's in Marble. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beerberg, uh, Bell Springs Brewing Company, Family Business Beer, Fitzhugh Brewing, Ghost Note, uh, Jester King, Pecan Street. They're from, from Johnson, Johnson City. City. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Suds Monkey, one of my favorites, Texas Cannon Brewing Company. Where are they from? Blanco. Are they here? Blanco. Blanco. Mm -hmm. uh, Twisted X Brewing, Vista Brewing, and another personal favorite, uh, 12 Fox is going to be there as well. That's a great lineup. Oh, great it is lineup. a great lineup. Yeah. Oh, that's great. awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, the link to the website is here in the comments. Um, so there are tickets still available for the wristband, general admission, and then the designated driver, I'm under 21 ticket. Is that correct? And the VIP. But I've got to tell you, there's only 100 tickets left and we're 10 days out. So if you want to come, you need to buy you your ticket. do it today. You know, we sold out last year and, and we've doubled the size of it this year and it looks like it's going to be a sellout again that's amazing that that's is amazing. amazing congratulations on the success of that event already thanks, thanks. yeah bringing the people what they want exactly <laughs> smart <laughs> and um to recap it's going to be on old Fitzhugh. um will people park on old Fitzhugh? where will they go for parking good question um Yes, there will be some parking there on Old Fitzhugh, but not a lot. Okay. Um, I would suggest that people park at the Triangle or down at the City Hall parking lot where the Visitor Center is. You're only going to walk a couple of blocks both ways. E either one of those. Those are opposite ends of, of Mercer Street. Or um, there is parking behind if you're from Dripping Springs and you know where the old uh, Dripping Springs rental was there's parking in that lot and then just along the streets wherever you can but all the parking's free now I did see something on the website that you could possibly procure um, a free ticket by volunteering do you have any volunteer spaces left Ooh. we do and and we really need afternoon beer pours so that that shift Oh, I should have looked at that for we came on. I think that shift starts at, at two o'clock and goes till five or five o'clock when when the day ends. And um, it's a fun job. You know, you're, you're assigned to one of the brewers and you get to pour beer. What a fun way to update your LinkedIn profile. I'm I'm an afternoon beer yes. pourer. Yes. At the Brewers Festival. Yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, All the morning like shots are taken. All the morning slots are done, but, um, and then we, I think there's a couple of spots left also as a, you know, a general helper that tells people, you know, gives directions and that kind of thing. So there's a couple of spots left for that. Awesome. Um, let's switch gears a little bit. Um, right around the corner, I believe the, the dripping with taste trail is going to be kicking off. Yes. Our dripping with taste trail, um, you know, all of our 32 wineries, breweries, and distilleries are considered to be part of our Dripping with Taste trail. They don't all participate in, in what we've had a pass, a passport before. Um, but this year we're changing it up. And uh, we're going to have 50 venues that are involved in our Dripping with Taste trail pass. <laughs> Mouthful. 
And those will include our wineries, breweries, distilleries, and food, nice. and tasting rooms. Tasting rooms, say, like uh, Hill Country Tasting out on 150 or um, Texas Hill Country Olive Company or the barbershop. Those are all, we consider those to be tasting rooms. So they'll, we'll have, we'll take the first 50 that, that apply and they're doing that right now. It's going to start the weekend of Founders Day, which is April 28th. Mm -hmm. It will end the weekend of the Songwriters Festival, which is October the 20th. So um, it will last six months and you get a discount everywhere you go. There's no free drinks, no free food. You get a discount everywhere you go. And it also, um, you get points. And so you work up points all through this um, six months and you get prizes for your points. So and it's kind of you get rewarded for eating and drinking around town. What how now? do you claim these rewards? I already know. How do you? Y'all are getting too excited. I did, I'm not <laughs> understanding. You're talking at the same time. I'm so excited. We <laughs> like to eat and drink <laughs> and get a discount and get extra points and prizes. Yes, it's a win-win-win. We're rewarded for doing things we love already. It's a win-win. Exactly. Uh, lots of different kinds of prizes, and, you know, from things from stickers all the way to a, an overnight stay, you know, all kinds of things. Ooh. So I'm going to um, answer the question that, that I asked only because I already know okay. the answer to said question. So if I understand correctly, this year, one of the pivots is um, you guys are going app based. And we get to follow along the trail on an app, which is really different than what we've gotten to do in previous years and really cool. Right. So you guys, right. y'all have gone high tech at Destination Dripping Springs. So. We are all the way over the top. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So uh, to recap again, it's going to run for six months. It's 50 places. And those are all here in Dripping Springs. Is that correct? Dripping Springs, Driftwood. Yes. Our, our area. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And the reason I wanted to be uh, clear about that is the next thing I want to um, touch on. I got a little bit confused between the trail and passport and all these like words running around. They were kind of blending together. So I saw Maybe. a really cool post on Instagram. Y'all social media does a really, really great job. So for those who aren't following Destination on Dripping Springs on social, please do. Their Instagram is fabulous. So I saw a post with this on it. Yes. Oh, uh, like yes. a week or so ago. And I'm like, Ooh, what's that? I, I love to gamify things. Um, mm -hmm. and the post mm -hmm. I saw, it looked like you could add stamps to things. Yes. yes. And so will you tell us all about this piece? Yes. It, it's, it's a, it's topic. a great way to learn about <clears throat> not just dripping Springs, but it's a great way to learn about the hill country period. So the Texas historic commission says that there are 19 counties uh, in the Texas Hill Country. Oh. And we have this map that shows all 19 counties. So this map goes along with this passport. Mm -hmm. So we keep these on our porch. You don't have to come the hours that we're open. Th these are out on our porch all the time. And where is your porch? At left? the visitor center. <laughs> excuse me. At the visitor center that's on Mercer Street. We're right next door to City Hall. We're at 509 Mercer. So we keep we keep a lot of things out on our porch so you could come and see them anytime. Um, but we've, we've always um, worked with the trail program and I've been on their board for years and we are really uh, wanting to everybody to understand about our great neighbors and what all, how proud you can be of this Texas Hill country that we have and what great history. And that's, that's what it focuses on is historic sites. Um, and so we are very fortunate to be right in the middle of this. Right. So come, I mean, it, just, it opens right to I me. know. How lucky can we be? So um, that shows Dripping Springs on that page. So you can come to the visitor center here and, and get that stamp. Well, you do have to come during, during hours that were open to get that stamp. But then the next page is our beloved Dr. Pound Historical Farmstead, which is reopening on April 1. It's oh, finally going to be open. Yes. So, um, but you can go to Kerrville, you can go to Bandera, you can go to Uvalde. So keep that in your vehicle. And um, you can read about in the very front of it that tells you what you can win once you 
uh, complete a certain number, and I'm sorry, 24. You have to come. You have to get 24 stamps, and then um, I think there's 36 places in this book, but 24 of those, and then you get in a drawing for great prizes, and the prizes are fabulous. Each one of our communities puts in for a pri gives a prize. So like last year for Dripping Springs, I went around and got lots of prizes, and it was like a $450 value, and and someone won that so it's great and, uh, so, fun. yeah so i turned to that page really quickly and okay. um looks like that your name will be entered into a quarterly drawing yes. uh drawings cool. will occur the first of april july october and january so it's not like a, a one and done kind of a theme no, like no, you no. can mm -hmm. play along mm -hmm. oh i love mm -hmm. it and everybody that turn this doesn't say it but everybody that turns one in gets a prize. You just may not win the great big prize. Do you know what that prize is? I'm just being nosy. Um, it's between us. Prizes. In the past, <laughs> in the past, it's been um, an entry to a state park or something like that. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Really, really cool. Oh, I mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. I, I love being part of this. Pam, what haven't we asked about that we need to know about that y'all are up to at Destination Dripping Springs? Well, of course, our beloved Songwriters Festival, everybody needs to mark that on their calendar. We have some great news that we're about to announce in a, a week or so. Um, we are already taking applications. We already have about 100 applications this year, and that will, that process will stay open until May 31. So I have no idea how many applications we'll get, but we have about a hundred people who've already applied to come and sing. Um, it will be October the 20th through the 22nd. Mark it on your calendars now. Plan to be here. If you're from out of town, get you a room today. Um, Ashley, I need to talk to you about that too. Yes, um, and we have an exciting showcase evening that will happen on uh, Friday and then Friday afternoon, all downtown music takes place. We have the showcase Friday evening that will be at Mercer dance hall. And then uh, we'll have music again all day Saturday. And then we have a special guest coming on Saturday night. That will be a total surprise. You don't want to tell us just, just between us. Oh, we no, won't tell don't. anybody. We're not going to tell anybody. You're not going to know until that person walks down the street and starts singing. Oh my gosh. More incentive to go and be yes. there and participate. Yes. yes. I'm going to yes. tell everybody I heard it. I don't know. George Strait. I'm just. I'm One just of the it. best things about the songwriters <laughs> festival is that it's free. Everything yes. is free except that showcase night. Um, everything is free. And the only reason we can have it free is because we have fabulous sponsors. So um, if you're, if you want to support live music and you are a business, you know, we need, we need your help to keep that free so that people get to see good quality and hear good quality music free. And, you know, all our, like all our high school kids come to it and listen to it. Not just people like me in my age group, you know, everybody listens to it. What I what I love about that event is it's it's really unique to every um, almost every other music event that I attend. Like people are really there to hear the music. And so you're not there to get drinks and run up to the stage and be obnoxious and loud. Like it's it's taken very seriously because there's such a major. It's very serious. Very unique. Um, you know what? It is not for everybody. So if you if you want to be one of those people who drinking all day and want to talk to your neighbor and be loud and obnoxious. That's okay. That, that person has their place, but this is not yeah, that. It's place. a Brewers festival coming up in 10 days. And yeah, the you field. can do that. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These people are not background music. These, these are people who <laughs> are thrilled with our festival because they are just, they love to come to our festival because our audiences pay attention and listen and they are they're just thrilled because they have people paying attention to their music and because of that a lot of them you know sometimes we have producers in the crowd and they get to really hear them and 
and see how they interact with an audience. And it's gone very well for a lot of them. We have one of our songwriters who's going to be on the Grand Ole Opry on Saturday night. Really? Who's that? Claire Cunningham. Oh my Actually, God. it's not this week. It's next week. Yeah. That is so and, cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she's just thrilled that that happened. So she was here the last two years. The Irish, Irish Claire Cunningham. She's going to be on the Grand Ole Opry next week. I oh, love it. I'm really excited. Yeah. That's yeah. so amazing. And thank you so much for coming on with us today, Pam. We really appreciate you. We appreciate your time. We appreciate everything that you do with Destination Dripping Springs and for our community and Thanks. putting these events together, working so hard for them. We just truly want to thank you for your time and all of the support that you've given to Dripping Springs and our community and the different people around us. So thank you so much. And this has been our latest episode of the Weekly Drip with Ashley Tullis with Atomic Properties Group, Amber with Coit Cleaning and Restoration, and Pam Owens with Destination Dripping Springs. We'll see you next week. Okay. Bye-bye.